Hello everyone and welcome to Claret and Booze. My name's Nick. This is not a daily ramble. This is going to be uh, a very ugly match reaction. I've got to be honest. So if you're um, if you're sensitive to expletives, I don't normally give um, I don't normally give warnings, but I probably am going to go off on one here. All right, I am. Uh, I'm recording this on the 60th minute. I've 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 stopped watching it. We're we're six nil down. We're six nil down. The fucking um, the 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 stadium virtually emptied at half time. It emptied at half time. But before before we ever get into before we get into the game, you go back to the Man United game last week where people came out, you know, the Moyes defenders came out and they went, Well, you got what you wanted. We played on the front foot, you know, people were saying we wanted to see good football, and this is what happened. You can't play good football and win. That's the reason we lost. If we'd have played a low block like we did against Bournemouth and Sheffield United, where we didn't fucking win, we'd have won. Bring back the low block. Well, there's your fucking low block. There's your low block. That's what happens. And I've said it on Twitter. That is what happens when you set out with a dickless fucking tactic. You, 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 get, you, you get battered. Eventually, it was going to happen. And you know what the sad thing is? That, that performance was no worse than anything else that we've seen this year. It weren't no worse than every other game that we've played. But slowly, 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 the luck that we've been relying on in each and every fucking game has started to expire. Teams have started to score all the chances they get. That's what's happened. That's what we've been calling out. We've been getting loads of crap all year, all year, for calling out the blindingly fucking obvious. We're not, we're not experts. We just use our fucking eyes. That's all we do. This has been coming. God knows what, what the score's going to finish. Although I've just heard that they're bringing, their 16, bringing on 16-year-old kids now. We've been embarrassed. That was Olay on 45 minutes. And do you know what? They're going to take the piss out of this video. You should take the piss because we're a fucking embarrassment. We're an absolute embarrassment to set out like that. You can't keep on setting up in a moronic low block. Inviting pressure on for 80 minutes, hoping that your defence won't crack. Hoping that... They'll just keep on missing the fucking target and then go for the game. You can't do that forever, you thick fuck. And that's for all the people that keep on defending him. And for those that keep on calling out those with agendas and narratives, you're not a proper West Ham fan if you don't get behind the manager. Well, fucking back that up now. Go on. I want to see you defend that now. Or you're not going to defend it. You're just going to blame the players again. It's all the players. It's the players' fault. They're all shit. We should sack them all. Keep Moyes. Put fucking Moyes and Nolan out there. They started well, West Ham. They're trying to deliver this fucking fruitless task of a plan that they've been given to do. But then we concede and it just all goes to pieces because they're not buying into it. They are not buying into this shit that they're, that they're being asked to do now. They're not. And I saw before we came off, I know Alvarez was booked, but fucking Phillips comes on in the second half. Alvarez comes off. Prowse and Suchek are still on now. I feel fucking sick. Sick. And a lot of you people are going to be thinking, oh, he's going to be happy. He's going to be loving this. No, no, I'm not. I'm not loving this. I'm sick to death of fucking watching this football, watching it, having to defend my opinion to people that I don't think fucking have a clue about football. None. They just chastise you and they go, whoa, sixth place. Look, European spaces. Seventh place. Look, European spaces. Fuck off. Use your eyes when you watch the game. This has been coming for ages. They talk about how he's overachieved. How he's done this and how he's done that. I'm not being funny. Has he really overachieved? Has he? You know, oh, I just don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm fucking gobsmacked with that. Well, I'll tell you what. Has he overachieved? Let's have a look at that, shall we? In the last five fucking years, West Ham are eighth for fucking transfer spend. 573 million. We're sitting seventh with our wage bill. This is this is how much we pay on wages. We've got the smallest squad and the oldest fucking squad that's got to be rebuilt in the summer. He's been here four years, spent 500 million. We've got the seventh fucking highest wage bill, the oldest fucking squad and the smallest. You do the maths and you keep on fucking because you're blinded. By a shit house in wins. You, you, you don't understand you don't understand football. I'm sorry, you don't. 
You don't play like Sheffield United if you've got Lucas Paqueta, Caduce, Bowen, all these fucking players in the team. You don't play like that. You, the way we played today was the same way we played against Bournemouth. The same way. So do you know what? So everyone that's been giving me shit, not everyone that's Moyes in, I'm not, I'm not a displeased, this ain't everyone that's Moyes in. You will not believe the raft of shit that I, that we as a channel, that everyone else has been getting over the past six months just for telling the fucking truth. To all you people that have been giving us shit, fuck you. Fuck you. This is on you. Do you know what? If they have signed a contract with Moyes, because for all we know, they could have, if that's what you want, you want David Moyes because, do you know what? You can't expect no more under Sullivan. What, so you just want to stick with this, do you? Is that what you want? Well, I'm sorry. People have called out other people for not being real West Ham fans. Not being real West Ham fans if you don't back the manager. Well, do you know what? If you defend that today, you ain't a real fucking West Ham fan. You haven't got the best interest of this club at heart. You haven't. All we've been doing is been saying what we've been seeing. This has not been right. It ain't been right for ages. It's shit, shit, Shit. The guy ain't got a fucking clue. He hasn't got a fucking clue. He hasn't. That was embarrassing. Embarrassing. The plan was on its way to working after 25 to 30 minutes. We're just sitting there and we're absorbing. By the time they scored their first goal, they had 72% possession. But David Moyes comes out after we shit out a win against Brighton where they had the lion's share of the ball and says, well, just goes to show you, you don't really need the ball, do you? Don't need the ball, Dave, no? Well, you kind of fucking do, don't you? Honestly, the guy is a fucking fraud. He's a busted flush. Get him out. I said the other day on the video that I did with Gio that I didn't want him sacked. Do you know why I said that? I said that because I don't trust these fucking owners. I've sensed the collapse coming the whole way through. I have been. Because we've been playing this way all season. I'm not telepathic. I can just fucking... I, I, I use my eyes. You can see this coming. We've been lucky. Luck doesn't last all year. Football always wins in the end. And results tend to catch up with performances in the end. It's fucking common sense. What I didn't want, even though we've been on a run, a, a, a bad run of form, was for David Moyes to get sacked while we're sitting in seventh place or eighth place, ignoring what happened before. Then the season crashes, and then they fucking re-employ the bloke in the summer because everyone starts looking at him through rose tints. When we've struggled and we've had a shit into the season and we've gone out of Europe, that would never have happened if David Moyes was here. That's why I didn't want him sacked. But I do want him fucking sacked now because I can't, I can't keep putting myself through that and watching that. It's embarrassing. Do I look like I enjoy it? Do I? I don't fucking enjoy it. I'm fed up with it. I'm sick of it. I don't want to keep on coming on here and ranting. I don't. But this is, I'm sorry, this is like a fucking, this is a pressure release valve for me now. That was... An absolute fucking disgrace. It was a culmination of everything that's gone wrong this season. We were embarrassed. They were all laying on 45 minutes. The fucking stadium emptied out. Tell me that the fans want Moyes here now. Tell me. But look, anyway, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. What is there to fucking talk about? We're going to come on the show later. We're going to do the player ratings. We're going to take your fucking phone calls. And I hope and I pray to God that Sullivan, you little fucking weirdo, you grow a pair of bollocks and you can see what you're apparently backing because it's too much of a risk to make a change, is it? Too much of a fucking risk. You've spent all of this fucking money, <coughs> all that money, and you don't expect us to be in the top 10. We've bought our way into the top fucking 10. Financially, we've, we've bankrolled it, mate. He ain't overachieved. The Conference Cup, it was good. It was an achievement. It was not an overachievement. It would have been a failure had we not won that cup. We had the most expensive squad in that competition by a country fucking mile. It's like Man City winning the league every year. You expect it. That's what we were in that competition. So it was good, it was fun, but don't dress that up as though it was some massive overachievement. He won us our trophy. It was fucking, what more do you want? What more do you want? What, I'll ask you, what more do you fucking want? Anyway, look, we'll be back later. Like I said, eight o'clock, tune in. You can phone in, do all that shit. I'm going to go and, um, I'm going to go and eat me dinner. I'll fucking, I'm not, I'm not even watching the rest of this shit. Fucking shit. Fuck you, Moyes. Fuck you, Sullivan. And you know what? To everyone that's disrespected this channel throughout the, the, the past year, just for literally, and we have come out fighting. I've come out fighting today on 
I've come out fighting today on Twitter. We only ever defend ourselves. We don't ever go out attacking fans for no reason, but we've been attacked. We've been fucked. We've, we've, we have, in fact, everyone in this community has. We have been. Because we're honest, we love football and we can, when we know what we're fucking watching. So to all you lot that have disrespected us, you lot can all go fuck off and all. Anyway, see you later on. Bye. Come on, you ones.